All BCAAs are not created equal. Find out the best one and undoubtedly the most essential on this week's episode of Supplement Saturday. This is an important episode for me because as my client base is growing, I have this supplement on 95% of my plans. I typically will get the question, what is this supplement? How do I say it? And why is it on my program, Ryan? So today we're gonna break down the best BCAA and one that you should supplement with outside the other branch chain amino acids. This episode's on Leucine. Leucine is one of the three branch chain amino acids. And the breakdown for the BCAAs is a 2-1-1 ratio. Two is leucine. The other two branch chains are valine and isoleucine. A few episodes back, I did a full breakdown on BCAAs. A link to that will be in the description. So of all three BCAAs, leucine is arguably the most important because of its role in protein synthesis. Multiple studies show that leucine activates the mammalian target of rapamycin, or mTOR for short. The mTOR pathway is essentially a direct link of protein synthesis to the muscle. So in short, leucine is a key supplement to signaling muscle growth. So you might say, Ryan, my goal isn't to get huge muscles, it's to burn fat. Not everybody wants massive biceps. Well, if your goal is fat loss, this supplement should be doubly valuable to you because increasing lean mass is essential in the fat loss process. So not only does leucine work directly with the other BCAAs to allow you to train harder, it stimulates protein synthesis, which ups muscle growth. Pretty cool, right? So let's talk about the dosing. Research shows that the optimal time to take leucine is toward the end or post-workout. And the proper dose is five grams. Anything past five grams will show diminishing returns. It's not worth taking. If you guys have ever seen my full breakdown on my personal subs, I'll add the link to that in the description of this video. I use the leucine powder form and I throw it right into my post-workout shake. It's quick, convenient, and ready to go. I have a few clients that swear by the pill form because they can't take the nasty taste of leucine. And I'll agree, it tastes pretty nasty in your shake. But you guys know me, I don't really care what something tastes like. It's just all fuel to me anyway. So unless it's a cheap meal, we're just going to down it and be done with it. All that said, leucine does fall into my essentials category. Whether I'm balking, leaning, I really don't miss a serving in my post-workout. So if you are coming on board with my coaching soon, don't be alarmed when you see leucine on your program. It's a great supplement and it's there to give you an edge along with everything else. I want to thank you for watching this week's episode of Supplement Saturday. I want to thank you for sharing, helping me educate people on sub. Remember, this entire series is a no promo, straightforward, no BS breakdown on the essential subs and the subs you can probably pass on. Don't forget to sign up for the free VIP newsletter. This is where I send out exclusives to all my fans, clients, and friends. And trust me, there's some really cool stuff in there. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you so much for your support. This is Ryan Engel, the founder of Ari Fitness. And if we don't talk sooner, I'll see you on next week's episode of Supplement Saturday.